誒潘主席啊，呢個誒新校長各位誒醫學嘅先進啊，誒大家早晨。誒今年係我第五年嚟澳門啊，呢個基金會係一年比一年誒繁榮，誒而且越嚟越好啊，非常恭喜今日嘅主講人咧。誒、呃、趙孝明醫生呢，佢係依個誒、呃、國立陽明大學嘅教副教授，誒喺依個英國牛津大學嘅醫學博士，誒、呃、就以前喺依個榮榮民總醫院做過眼科嘅，尤其係。你天嚟呢個誒主治醫師啊？誒、啊，一係英國牛津大學眼科科學會嘅會員，誒、啊，同時咧，誒、啊，佢係而家台灣誒、啊、網網膜醫學會嘅執行秘書長，誒、啊，佢有幾個專利嘅發明啊，誒、啊，仲有咧，佢而家係。台北嘅正興醫院嘅眼科主任，對今日講嘅主題咧，就係嘅呢個視網膜嘅誒缺血性嘅問題啊！我哋啊，請你，請你開始。誒、嗯，拜拜 ，President and the coordinator。And uh, thanks for uh, that and uh, Professor Shea's uh, very kind and brilliant introduction for me. And today I want to share some of my results uh, with everybody, and uh, which is uh, retina ischemia. And here is very important, uh, uh, and also uh, re it's relevant to brain ischemia, the current uh, steroid antivirus protectant stem cell gene therapy and retina chips. Uh, just share with my result. Uh, as we know that uh, Chinese got uh, the first uh, medicine Nobel Prize, actually start from uh, 1996 uh, until uh, now, uh, it's 20 years, I carry on the same research with the Ms. Tu Yu Yu. And uh, we uh, actually as we see, this is uh, uh, actually Actually, uh, our study is uh, uh, mainly focused on the Chinese herbal and uh, taking advantage of the Western medicine. As we know that you, if you want to carry on the Chinese herbal study, you've got to have very strong background at the Western medicine. So this is the outline that I'm going to go through uh, ischemic model and food science and new protectants, Chinese herbal and cell therapy, gene therapy and retina chips. As we know, ischemia, retina ischemia associate ocular disorders such as uh, central retinal artery occlusion and age-related macular degeneration and also the glaucoma and also vision threatening diabetic retinopathy, which is uh, very important. There are a lot of people got this uh, ischemia uh, related ocular uh, disorders such as diabetes retinopathy. I'm going to go through all this uh, disorder. Uh, in the past era, we have only steroid, but now because of the uh, Professor uh, Judah Falkman, his idea regarding the anti to treat the tumor, so we have a uh, 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 anti uh, Go through the VEGF. VEGF got uh, five. Five, five types, including the placenta growth factor, and the most important receptor is the receptor 2. It's related to the VEGF, and also the uh, VEGF1 is a decoy receptor. The common uh, commercial product is the anti-VEGF, uh, it's Avastin, Lucentis, and uh, also Ivia. Uh, this is my patient's got a branch retinal artery occlusion and central retinal artery, artery occlusion. As you can see, this is a cherry red spot. And this is cent central retinal band occlusion. 
and this is branch retinal artery occlusion with the uh, OCT proof that they got a systolic macular edema. And actually, this disorder is very hard to be treated. Uh, um, our, uh, my publication before, we used the transluminal yak embolectomy to rupture the emboli. And here is the, our publica uh, my publication. And initially, we are uh, the rupture emboli still will occlude the vessel. But so initially, we use the vessel dilator to dilate the vessel, which is Viagra, and also use the anti vegf and steroid to treat the systole macular edema. Successful, uh, treat all the patients. There are three subtypes of age-related macular degeneration, which is exudative and polypoid choroid vascular vasculopathy and retinal angiomatous proliferation. We successfully use the anti vegf to treat the uh, exuded AM, AMD, which is age-related macular degeneration, and the cystoid macular edema gone. And this is another type, and we also treat with anti vegf to treat to release the uh, re retinal pigment epithelium detached and subretinal fluid. And here is dry retina. And also the third type, we uh, double dose the anti vegf and successfully also treat the RAP, which is retina angioma, which is proliferation. And this is uh, wet retina, and this is dry retina after treatment. And uh, choroid neovascularization is not only occur in the uh, aging people, uh, also occur in the myopia, and which is also treated by the anti vegf anti vegf has been widely used in di diabetes as well. This is diabetic macular edema after treatment. Uh, the edema gone. This chap is a uh, bronze medal winner in the Olympia, Olympia Asia Olympia game, and got also pro proliferated diabetic mac uh, macular uh, diabetic uh, retinopathy associated vitreous hemorrhage after the treatment. The the, the blood clear and also uh, add some uh, laser and got a very successful vision of 1.0. And this, this chap is a, a marine uh, our, uh, a soldier. After retirement, he uh, worked as a building worker and got uh, injured by a, a, a bo water bottle uh, from his colleague. And come here, got a tractional retina detachment. And uh, the other eye also got a hemorrhage and tractional detachment. And left eye had been treated, the right eye. I used the anti vegf and cleared the blood but he's still not satisfied. He asked me to do the surgery, retract me, and I removed the uh, neovascular membrane and got a 1.0 vision. And this uh, aging uh, lady uh, also got a proliferated diabetic retinopathy associated with just hemorrhage after the retractomy and also silicone oil and anti vegf and the retina is attached until now. It's already six years uh, gone by. But even though that we have successfully treated all these patients, that vision is still very disappointing. So I start from 1996 uh, doing the research uh, uh, using the Western medicine and Chinese herbal, and this is clonidine, which is alpha-2 agonist, uh, and uh, protect the retinal ischemia through the acting at uh, alpha-2 adrenal receptor by also upregulating the basic fiber blast growth factor. And we, in our clinic experience, we have an eye and intraocular foreign body, but after early removal, the vision is still very disappointing. So we look at the uh, eye toxicity. This is our, my publication, and this is, and we have found very important uh, reaction, which is phantom reaction. The eye will trigger a uh, superoxide and hydrogen peroxide produce a very toxic uh, hydroxyl radical. Yeah, and e so even though that after early removal the uh, uh, retinal function is still very poor, and so we look at the how to regenerate this uh, hydroxy radical, which might cause the ischemic uh, uh, damage, which is iron toxicity. We look at the one of the very important uh, the uh, Chinese herbal, which is uh, Chuan Chong, we can find it in the Dangui and uh, and and uh, and uh, uh, Chuan Chong, 
uh, the active component is ferulic, ferulic acid, which can uh, scavenge the free radical, which is hydroxy radical. It's my publication, and we uh, create this flow chart. I will increase the hydroxy radical and increase the uh, glutamate release and also uh, trigger the calcium flux, which uh, destroy the cell membrane, etc. And we also use another ischemic model to look at the ferulic uh, effect. And actually, we proved that he is a very good uh, uh, hydroxyl radical scavenger. And we, fortunately, we uh, have the first uh, uh, patent, and now we still carry on the human study. And this is uh, my patent. And again, we look at Western medicine, which is very common uh, brain edema agent, which is man manitol. Uh, he got an uh, antioxidant effect, which can reduce the reactive oxygen species and reduce the lipid peroxide and also activate catalase to turn the very uh, active hydrogen peroxide free radical into safe water, and which is a very useful in uh, release the brain edema or retina edema. And again, we look at another Chinese herbal, which is uh, uh, Huang Qin. Uh, the active com component is bicarlin, and which has an uh, antioxidative effect, can downregulate the uh, VEGF and MMP9, which is very important in creating choroid vascularization in exudative edge-related macular degeneration. And again, here, uh, we know uh, that the mentioned anti-VEGF, but uh, the bicarbonate has even more uh, effect in downregulated MMP9, and also downregulated HIV one alpha and uh, upregulated him oxygen. We carry on look at the him oxygen uh, effect. So we use a cobalt protoporphyry to upregulate the him oxygen, which can protect the retinal ischemia. And again, we look at another uh, food science, which is. Uh, an active component of the uh, old garlic. Uh, uh, the, the researcher is coming from Shandong. So uh, uh, the sap, as allyl l cysteine got an antioxidant effect against the ischemic uh, damage the retina ganglion cell and uh, can reduce the HIV-1 of VEGF and also MMP9, which very important ischemic factor to create a choroid near vascularization, which uh, resulting in the acute edge-related macular degeneration, also can be found in the diabetic retinopathy as well. And fortunately, we got another U uh, United States patent. And we carry on to look at its uh, protective effect, which can, which can act as a kinase, which is another non-NMDA antagonist. And we carry on another beverage study, which is uh, green tea, EGCG. Uh, we got a protective effect against the uh, retinal ischemic injured retina ganglion cells. And also we look at the Western, a uh, very popular beverage, which is a red wine called a resveratrol, which can reduce the MMP9 and also have got an antioxidant effect and also can upregulate the protective factor, which is in him oxygen. This is a messenger RNA. And this is defined uh, uh, product. Uh, this is our uh, study group from different countries. <coughs> And again, we uh, move further to the uh, Chinese herbal com combination with the Qi Di Huang Wan. It's very popular uh, bright eye uh, combination, which can reduce the P38 MAPK, which is mitogene activate protein kinase, and also decrease the MMP9. And this is the messenger RNA proof that uh, uh, it has effect on the defined effect. Also got a. Uh, also got an effect on the enzyme activity as well. This is flow chart. This is our study team. And we look at uh, another rare uh, orchid uh, component, which is Jin Tai Shu. We look at another tumor marker, which is pyruvate kinase MP, M2. 
and the genes have Shifu got a, a protective uh, effect in the electrophysiology function and also pathologic function, protect the cholinergic neuron, the glial neuron, the degree of cells, and also by down-regulating the PKM2, which is pyruvate kinase M2 protein to decrease the vagin. This is the, uh, this is the protein result. This is our study team. Also, we look at another uh, combination, which has got a tissue plasmogen activator effect, uh, which is Xue Fu Zhu Yitang. We look at another tumor marker, which is a, a retinoblastoma binding protein to and pre ischemia, administration post ischemic uh, administration, all got a protective effect, protect the retina ganglion cell, and which is retrograde labeling from the superior colicus in the brain uh, by down-regulating PKM2, so further down-regulating VEGF, and we carry on looking at uh, the RBP2 protein effect. And we also carry on somebody on uh, retina stem, stem cell. We uh, compare the brain cortical stem cell pro progenitor and also retina progenitor. Retina progenitor got a greater proliferated and self-renewal ability. Uh, the Retina progenitor can differentiate into the glial cells, the retina ganglion cell, and bipolar cells, and also uh, got, uh, can, can go to some uh, cell. Cellular pro property got an NMDA receptor 2 uh, expression, also a very important enzyme, which is glutamic acid decarboxylase. The, the, the enzyme can uh, transfer the glutamate into the GABA, which is uh, one is excitatory amino acid, we, the other one is the inhibitor excitatory amino acid. The cold cold progenitor also got an effect uh, uh, to differentiate into the uh, neuron and glial cells as well, and they got different uh, expression. The retina stem cells have got uh, expression, over expression on the glial derived neurotrophic factor, also another stem like the protein is which is nano. And this is autofluorescent uh, retina progenitors after implantation uh, expressed on the outer nuclear layer photoreceptor and also the retina ganglion cell to protect uh, the electrophysiology function. And this is our uh, trip to the El Salvador to offer uh, the surgery for the people there. They are very kind. And this is the uh, other groups, uh, uh, the, the stem cell study, uh, this study showed that they, the rod uh, progenitor, can, uh, subretina uh, implant, can grow the uh, body process, neuronal process. They've got a spe specific uh, photoreceptor process, and they can polarize to the outer retina, and they can polarize to uh, integrate to the inner retina as well. They, got, uh, they can constrict the pupil and uh, uh, increase the blood flow and stay longer in the dark area because the mice uh, stay in the dark area. And yesterday, uh, uh, Professor Ye talking about embryonic stem cells, I uh, covered more. Uh, actually, this uh, stem cell derived retina pigment epithelium has been implanted firstly in the Stargardt disease. Stargardt disease got, is a kind of macular dystrophy, got blue eye phenomenon, and after the implantation, uh, this this show that the RP got a, a like human like a, a, a property, and they after the implantation, the OCD showed that uh, uh, RP atrophy initially after the implantation, they got a hyperpigmentation, RP uh, grow into, and this is the vision. Uh, get uh, five letters, e EDTRs, and as we know, IPS uh, won uh, Yamanaka a Nobel Prize. But uh, we've got to be very careful carry on this research. And also, uh, the gene therapy in the UK, uh, they, they carry on some gene study on the choroidoremia, but we've got to be very careful because it causes anaphylactic shock and also called uh, the gene therapy, also called uh, T cell uh, leukemia as well. And this is also UK's uh, uh, retina chip study. 
And we've got to be careful, uh, the neurotransmitter, also uh, the uh, sodium uh, transmit, uh, also some enzymes such as phosphodiesterase to get in the sodium uh, channel, which can release the uh, glutamate neurotransmitter. With the encouragement of uh, Tu Yo Yo, uh, Lady Tu Yo Yo, we know that uh, uh, our Chinese proverbs, prevention is better than cure. So we got to look at the, uh, we look at uh, in the previous, we look at the beverage, we look at the food, we look at the, a lot of Western medicine. And well, two years ago, I went to uh, 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 Europe to for a meeting that they also. Uh, utilize the brimonity, which is the alpha-2 agonist, and also somatostatin to to uh, bring a kind of new protection for the diabetic retinopathy patients. But in the future, if we want to uh, improve our study, we've got to find a new uh, uh, is, uh, disease model, and also we got to uh, look at the scaffold, which is a 3D cell culture and also we need to find a new uh, disease model for the diabetes. And this is the, uh, I think, uh, quite familiar to uh, uh, Director and Professor Xie. This is the executive or uh, retina detachment uh, induced, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, pregnancy induced uh, hypertension. And after this, uh, treatment, uh, the, the uh, exude, exude, uh, the subretinal fluid is gone. And just a take home message that uh, if we want to uh, sort out the human uh, problem, that we've got to uh, have a global teamwork to look at the cell, animal, human, and also such as we Finally, we got to move out so we can see beautiful things such as I meet uh, two beauties in, at, uh, in El Salvador. We got to move out. And I got uh, videos, uh, if uh, we have enough time, uh, there's only five to ten minutes, because yesterday we didn't cover the fatal second fecal emulsification to do the uh, carrot surgery, and combined with it, we, we have small vitrectomy. Within one day, the patient can, can be discharged, and uh, we can remove the epiretinal membrane very safely with the new technique. Thank you for your attention. Presentation 眼科哦这个我们厦门大学的医学院的眼科也是非常强的有一个这个我们的院长是眼科学的教授叫刘祖国你可能也知道我在那个上次我在那个阿布达比有跟他分过面对对对谢谢然后呢他口袋中也有三
It's very difficult. So we, actually, I that's why I can pass the. Otherwise, I would have to pay two thousand to pay the pilot study. 我們現在ESCO實在是非常的嚴格,非常非常的嚴格,他們try to protect all the patients 另外一個還有一句話 我們實在是很謝謝那個屠悠悠女士給我們很多的這個encouragement You can start from 1996 When I moved to the Oxford University I talked to my supervisor I want to uh, carry on a study about Gojizi He said to me that Come on, I know nothing about Chinese medicine So you want me to supervise you So, so, what, so what, what is the use of the supervised for? Because I don't know, know anything about the Chinese medicine. So in this all, I carry on the study is alpha 2 agonist clonidine, but which is an alpha 1 prototype. I think that is a very good inspiration. It is an imidazoline receptor agonist. Thank you. Vice President, thank you. Can I have a translator? <笑><笑>我問題呢我就說好簡單的我想你講講幾句就是講兩句我找到第三句你說傷公治未病即是未病就醫了他了那就最好了中醫的治癒病即是想病你就醫了他了那下公是不是治大病呢 下公是治疾病,上公是治胃病,中公是治愈病, so one is prevention is better than cure, the other, the second one is early treatment, the other one is treat, treat the end stage disease. Terminal Come 因為為什麼我說第一次的黃斑如果引致有第二次的黃斬用什麼手術或者是藥物都可以improve 那我觉得这个问题非常的好 uh, Actually, I try to be a banker To build up all the Chinese herbal or Western herbal which is useful for the 那个黄斑病变 Actually, 黄斑现在很多的病变 而且我们一般说的黄斑病变 大概指的是age-related macular degenerate 就是老年性黄斑病变 其实黄斑病变有很多 包括糖尿病的黄斑水肿这也是黄斑病变 还有黄斑上有纤维膜这也是黄斑病变还有黄斑上有破洞这也是黄斑病变但是因为拜现在的 surgery 的那个 instrument 
现在这些问题都有解了。以前我们在当 resident 的时候，我们当住院医师，大概就回去了。但是现在没有，现在一定把它治好。黄斑破洞把它补起来，这个黄斑皱褶把它拿掉，那一天就可以回家了。但是呢，老年性黄斑病变有新生血管，以前我们确实是做手术，但是把 b o t o r e c e p t o r 感光细胞都拿掉，这样当然是没有视力。那对的中药来说，它是治胃病，最主要是在治胃病。所以，其实我刚才已经我的 study 里面有一个叫做曲脊地黄丸，但是什么 dose is a secret because。I always got a patent. Now it's already sent to the USA. 呃，这个哈、哦，事实上里面还有 lutein。我们大家都在吃叶黄素，是不是？其实我们，其实我们中药里面很多都有叶黄素啊。枸杞、菊花里面都有 lutein， 就都有叶酸性、玉米黄质、叶黄素这些东西。事实上，我们只是不知道而已。也许我们这个八国联军之后，我们好像对中国人对自己的老东西都已经失去了信心。但是呢，我是。有信心，尤其是涂悠悠女士给我们很多更多的信心。我们一直，我们二十年来都一直在做这个事情。所以，另外还有缺血，其实很多女性都吃过的，哈、哦，叫做四物汤。这个豆子也是 secret， 我们都有有都有 patent 哈、哦。那你说，如果能够把缺血当名目加起来的话，对某些人他本来就是有那个 predisposing factor， 比如说他的他的爷爷奶奶。它有黄斑病变，我们其实吃这个东西非常的安全的时候，你当然你可以把它当做 prevention 在吃啊，好，那也没有什么，也没有什么败坏。那当你有病的时候，我们当然可以结合一些西医的一些 technique 来一起做。所以说，呃，我不知道有没有解释的这个我们的那个主席的这个呃、那个、回回答。对不起，我插插一句。这个鸡胃病黄斑有没有什么 genomic studies 可以 predict later development of 呃黄斑？对不起，有，有有一个叫 CH5， 我记得是那个这个事实上做这个 study 很很多，但是呢，我一直觉得哈，很多东西都是 polygenetic。You see one side， but actually 就好像冰山的一角而已。那就好像大摸着大象一样，摸着它鼻子，你觉得说像鼻子的样子。我认为很多都是 polygenetic， 所以中医伟大的地方就是是它有十二经络，它有阴阳五行，它整是都是 cover。但是 however， 你,你怎么去呢？都知道说什么叫做什么叫湿，什么叫热，什么叫火，哦，这些东西什么叫痰，你根本就不知道。但是你当你知道 Western medicine 很多的时候，你就可以把它 combine 在一起。变成一个 integral 的 medicine， 那 that will be very helpful。So in the future， 像我在中国医药大学，我去那边，我在阳明大学上课，我在中国医药大学上课。阳明大学还没有那么多外国人，中国医药大学有 German， 有 Russian， 他们是要去学什么？他们就是要去学中医而已。他们很多都是那个 engineering， 很多人都是 scientist。Uh, I'm most intrigued by your talk on using stem cell in treating uh, retinal uh, ischemia. Thank you. I, I, I'm quite confident that we can put the stem cell and it will adhere on the retina. But ischemia is not just on the uh, retinal cells. How about the, the nerve injury uh, following ischemia? So if you just replace the retinal cells, would that be able to uh, recover? The loss of vision because the ischemic effect、uh, on the neurons, optic nerve, and so on. Would that be、uh, repairable? Thank for your brilliant questions.、Uh, first of all, I got to be very cautious in the stem cell study because, as we know, the Yamanaka group now send their apology for their scandals. So we got to be very careful in the、uh, stem cell study, also the gene study. I, as I said before, I think that integral medicine is the future direction. That not just the stem cell, because at the end of it, our our neuron has been dead. So you got to replace the cell. So I think that's very difficult because we are talking about monolayer cells, or we are talking about a scaffold, three D cell. So now、uh, I have shown our result. We use the 3D scaffold and to grow the stem cells. And actually,、uh, different to Yamanaka's study, we actually we try to look at primary cell. 
I think that there are some cells, stem cells inside of it. So uh, in addition to the stem cell, I think that the milieu is very important. I think that maybe you've got to uh, provide the milieu for the cells, for the stem cell to grow. But actually, our human body is so is such a sophisticated uh, uh, you know, condition. You've got a cell, you've got neurotransmitter, you've got a lot of things, you've got a 3D dimension. So I think that uh, in the future, uh, so that's why I, I think that a retina chip maybe still got a long way to go because we cannot, we cannot provide milieu for the retina chip. Uh, it, it, did I uh, answer your question? Thanks for your question. Hey, 這位是香港中文大學醫學院的葉明級學生 and um, I, I want to ask, um, as you said, like you, you, you mostly use the Western approach to actually analyze the active components in the herbal formula. So would you think that you can actually um, like push the boundary to like, let the Chinese medicine like more involved with the Chinese idea, like the yin and yang with the approach on the treatment? Do you think it's possible like to, to actually give more Chinese components into the integrative medicine idea? Thank you for your marvelous question. Uh, actually, I think that that's a very good idea. That you've got to have a very strong background in the Western medicine, such as. So that's why, uh, even though I'm so busy, I spend around 40% time in my basic science research and 60% in my clinic work, so I can keep up with, with the world uh, uh, current technology. So I also spare one to two days to. Uh, give a lecture, a special lectures in the uh, middle of Taiwan. Actually, I, 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 uh, I give two uh, courses. One is life science, because that's very important. Uh, uh, life education, sorry about that. Because if people haven't got a good or proper attitude, uh, how can he carry or she carry on a very good study? And the second thing that I, I, uh, I choose a course, which is a, a Chinese uh, Ophthalmology, which is Bai Yan. So uh, they, they give me a, 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 a tutorial with Bai Yan. So actually, it's very hard. Bai Yan. So if, there is, if there are any people who, who know the uh, ophthalmology, Bai Yan, so what is Bai Yan? So bai Yan so actually, it is Hui Hong, Hui Tong. Now, we go to the Where is the Western? terminology like this. So actually it's like episcleritis, but you've got to have a lot of differential diagnosis. So get back to your question again. I think that we've got a very strong uh, Western medicine background. Try to know uh, the, the situation in Yang Wu Xing. What is in Yang Wu Xing? What is the Sir Jing Luo? I think this is very important. For example, 不是有一个胃嘛那就是systemic disorder 但是我们很多东西我们慢慢的去了解譬如说火和热 actually它是一个immune的一个reaction 或者是一个inflammation的一个reaction 所以当我们去connect上的一个western和那个oriental的一个medicine 时候你就开始可以觉得说 他为什么会把这个轴后背脊方里面的青蒿素拿来治疗这个疟疾这轴后背脊方只是一个小小的一本的中医书而已但是我们有很多的本草背药我们很多的方剂学那才是更多的一个来源譬如说我们亚麻
。咁啊，時間咧就啱啱好啦。我諗大家都同意咧，我哋呢個研討會嘅特色咧，除咗有好精彩嘅演講之外咧，仲跟住有啲好深層嘅多方面嘅討論嘅。咁時間亦都係掌握得好好嘅。非常之多謝你。謝謝